let's move to the first exercise this type of question again tends to irritate confuse many of us because we are not comfortable with variables at all and hence my solution for such question always is why don't you take a value okay let's look at the data given in the question x star y is x square minus y square x dollar y is x minus y whole square x at the rate y is x plus y find the value of m star 1 by m at the rate of m dollar 1 by m let me assume m equal to 2 if m is equal to 2 what i need to find is 2 star 1 by 2 at the rate of 2 dollar 1 by 2 now what is so let's calculate each of these separately 2 star 1 by 2 is nothing but 2 square minus 1 by 2 square which is equal to 4 minus 1 by 4 which is nothing but 16 minus 1 15 by 4 so 2 star 1 by 2 we have calculated the other one is 2 dollar 1 by 2 2 dollar 1 by 2 will be 2 minus 1 by 2 whole square which is equal to 3 by 2 whole square which is nothing but 9 by 4 or in other words this expression which was given to us is nothing but 15 by 4 at the rate 9 by 4 as for the equation x at the rate y is nothing but x plus y so this should be 15 by 4 plus 9 by 4 15 plus 9 is 24 24 by 4 is equal to 6 put n equal to 2 in the choices whichever does not give you 6 is incorrect whichever gives you 6 can be correct that means straight away b is incorrect because it is giving a value of minus 4 c is incorrect it is giving a value of 2 in choice a if i put m equal to 2 this will come 2 2 is a 4 4 minus 1 3 3 into 2 6 so this is giving me a value of 6 for m equal to 2 can be correct hold on with this what about the other choices choice d is 2 upon 4 equal to 1 by 2 incorrect we need a value of 6 choice e 2 into 1 minus 4 this is a negative number choice e is incorrect only one choice was given us the value of 6 and that is the correct answer so please remember such questions they are very easy but don't work in terms of variable work in terms of numbers if you work in terms of numbers your life becomes significantly easier